His Holiness, Moran Morbaselius Mardoma Paulius II, was the 8th Catholicos of the East and 21st Malingra Metropolitan of the Malingra Orthodox Syrian Church, being the 91st successor to the Apostolic Throne of St. Thomas. His Holiness was born as K.I. Paul in the village of Mangard, Kerala, to Kolonur Aip and Purikor de Kuniti. After completing his studies at local schools, he attended the St. Thomas College in Trichur. Following his college education, His Holiness attended the Orthodox Theological Seminary in Kortem, from which he earned his degree in sacred theology. There he studied under renowned fathers such as His Grace Dr. Paulos Mar Gregorios and N.K. Kordam Alpanachin. Afterwards, he obtained his Bachelor's in Divinity and his Master's of Arts in Sociology from Serampore University and CMS College in Korte. His Holiness was ordained to his first order of the diaconate in 1972 and later became a full deacon. On June 21, 1973, His Holiness was ordained as a priest and served as the vicar of St. Basil and St. Gregory Orthodox Church in Mudepat. Later on, he was tonsured as a monk. When he was 36 years old, His Holiness, who was then Father K.I. Paul, was elected to become a bishop. On May 15, 1985, Reverend Father K.I. Paul was consecrated as His Grace Paulus Mormeditius by His Holiness Moran Mor Basilius Matthews I. Mormeditius was assigned as the diocesan metropolitan of the newly established Kundamkulam Diocese. On October 12, 2006, the Malingra Syrian Christian Association elected His Grace Mormeditius to be the next Catholicos of the East and Marengra Metropolitan. On November 1, 2010, Mormonitheus was enthroned as His Holiness Moran Morbasalios Marthoma Paulus II, succeeding his predecessor, His Holiness Moran Morbasalios Marthoma Didimos I. As Catholicos, Baba Thirimini ensured that the faithful were made aware of the customs and traditions of the Holy Church and ensure that they were properly practiced and adhered to. Thirimini courageously faced many challenges that existed within and outside the Church with faith, love, conviction, and hope. His Holiness spent countless hours involving himself in humanitarian efforts, providing for the hungry, homeless, the orphans and widows, and those with various illnesses and disabilities. His Holiness guided the Church during times of conflicts and disputes, and responded to numerous insults, criticism, and mockery with love, forgiveness, and humility. His Holiness also emphasized the importance of interfaith relations and met with numerous religious leaders, such as Pope Francis of the Roman Catholic Church and the Dalai Lama, the spiritual leader of the Buddhist community. He also met numerous times with all the heads of our sister Oriental Orthodox Churches and with many of the patriarchs of the Eastern Orthodox Churches. Among them were Pope Tawadros of the Coptic Orthodox Church, Patriarch Matthias of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church, and Patriarch Cyril of the Russian Orthodox Church. He worked tirelessly with these leaders to ensure that the Gospel of Christ spread to the four corners of the world in spite of social, cultural, and generational barriers. Many important events and changes took place under Baba Thirmini's leadership. Many forgotten and unknown traditions of the Church, such as iconography, the use of the Jesus prayer using prayer ropes, and the use of tones for the Church's liturgical hymns, were made widely available for the faithful to learn about, as well as use in their worship. Many resources were made available to the youth, which produced strong leaders and organizations such as Amgeosiasm and Focus, and inspired many young men and women to follow the call of priesthood and ministry. Many of the Church's important institutions were renovated. Numerous educational institutions and charitable organizations were established in and outside India, and the Holy Service of the Consecration of Chrism, a liturgical service which takes place very rarely within the Church, was conducted on March 23, 2018, under the chief leadership of Baba Thirimini. In December of 2019, His Holiness was diagnosed with lung cancer and underwent treatment at the St. Gregorio's Hospital in Parimila. His health grew weaker when he contracted COVID-19 in February of 2021. 
Through all these ailments, the Holy Father remained steadfast in prayer and accepted whatever happened as the will of the Lord. On July 12, 2021, in the presence of his brother bishops, His Holiness, Moran Morbasilius Marthoma Paulus II, fell asleep in the Lord. He was buried at the Catholic Palace Chapel in Devadogam Korte. His Holiness Moran Morbasilius Marthoma Paulus II lived with the single goal of exemplifying Christ through his life. He worked and prayed tirelessly for the growth and well-being of the Church and for Christ's love to be shared to all places and regions. May we follow his example and in doing so, follow Christ, bringing all those around us to Christ's life-giving gospel. May his intercessions be a fortress and stronghold for the Holy Church and for the entire world. O Holy Baba Thirimeni, intercede for us to Christ our God, that he may save our souls. Amen.